We're at a four bedroom, two bathroom, single family home in Palm Coast, Florida. We're gonna do a full property tour, run through the numbers at the end of the video. Let's go check it out. Okay, I'm with Austin from Southern Impression Homes, Florida. Absolutely. And so we're gonna check out this single family home. So can you tell us a little bit about this property? Yeah, so we're at uh, 76 Roxboro. Um, this is a single family home. One of, a, one of our great investments here at Southern Impression Homes, one of our most popular uh, properties here uh, in our portfolio. We actually rent these out at a pretty high rate. Um, currently, we have about three single family homes just like this one already with tenants in place. So a cash flowing asset from day one. Um, as you can see, the neighborhood's awesome. A lot of single families around. You can tell from the manicured lawns, the great, uh, you know, the nice home, the homes are kept in great shape. Tons of pride in this area as well. Uh, we're just about 10, 15 minutes from the beach, right off I-95, so transit's super easy in this area. So what beach would be, I guess, Palm Coast Beach or? Um, yeah, I guess it would just be Flagler Beach. We're Flagler. in Flagler County, so just, again, just south of St. Augustine. Um, so right on the Atlantic? Yeah, right on the Atlantic, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then a lot of homeowners in this neighborhood. Oh, absolutely. I would say that this is, you know, th this again was another one of those infill infill sites uh, where you're going to be living amongst homeowners. Again, appreciation is going to go up because of the homeowner uh, population around us. Yeah, cool. So we're on a nice big driveway. Absolutely. You could fit two cars side by side and then a huge garage. Absolutely. Is it common in Florida to have these big kind of wide garages? Like I would say that the two car garage is pretty common. Yeah. 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 Two cars on the side there. Uh, nicely manicured. You guys do all the landscaping. Absolutely. Stuff. Absolutely. But you know, so they'll be responsible for cutting the lawn, but we do have, uh, we do come in and this is definitely standard for us with the, the day lilies here and all uh, the brush or uh, brushes over. Yeah, and again, so we've got the grading. I don't know if you can catch it in the video, but it's kind of a, not too steep, but steep enough grading that the water is going to flow this way. And again, no gutters on this house. It's not common to have gutters on your home in Florida. Sandy soil soaks up a lot of water and uh, it just runs off runs off the grade. You can install gutters if you want, but I don't think it's necessary. It's not necessary. It's definitely something that you can you can go ahead and add on. Uh, same with the fence. If you'd like to add the fence, obviously we're trying to, again, keep the maintenance to a minimal. Right? Yeah. Any repairs need to happen. Um, you can notice that we installed the culvers on the driveway. It's going to help with uh, some of the drain the drainage as well. It's going to capture a lot of that rainwater. And all your properties, whether it's a single family home, a duplex or a quad, right. exact same model, exact same layout, exact same finishes on all of them. Correct. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah. If it's a sixteen yeah. seventeen in Jacksonville, if it's a sixteen seventeen in Palm Coast, these are going to be the same layout. Okay, let's go check it out. So one thing that I feel like we always call out in these videos <laughs> is this digital keypad. This is like a must-have if you're a real estate investor because when the tenants move out, you can just change the code. It makes it easy. You don't have to replace the locks, and you can keep it secure absolutely. for other people. So I love that you guys have the digital keypad. Yeah, and Anthony, it's super convenient too. So say if you have a tenant that's interested in coming and check it out, and they're with their realtor you can actually go ahead and we can have the code generated for whichever day that they're gonna come out. So it's not like you don't have to be present for them to access your unit. Oh, so it always changes. Yes, sir. Yeah, we can change this. Um, you know, we can change it after somebody moves out, somebody wants to tour the property, we can change it every like day. remotely, you guys yeah. can change it. Oh, Absolutely. cool. So oh, it makes wow. it, and this is called a show mojo lockbox. Cool. So there's just a beautiful vibe, honestly, when you walk into this property, it's got this really tall vaulted ceiling, really, really open and airy kind of feel, big living room. Huge kitchen, I love the massive island. Yeah, I absolutely love this floor plan. You know, whatever you're looking to do with the home, it's very functional. With this, like you were mentioning, the big floor plan, you've got this beautiful island here. So, you know, if you're entertaining guests, uh, or if you're, you know, just wanna have a, you know, a nice night in, you have a ton of space here in the living area. Um, I can't yeah. mention enough how nice this granite countertop looks. And then you, so you got room for like a kitchen table or something over here, maybe. Absolutely. Walk out to the back. Uh, so standard, uh, stainless steel appliances are standard. Absolutely, the, you know, this is part of the principles of the business. Um, provide excellent technology with beautiful granite countertops. It's very eye-catching for a tenant. They can picture themselves living in here, but this is gonna last forever, you know? We're not gonna break this. Even if they want to use this as a cutting board, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be damaged. Yeah, just the, the overall first impression you get when you walk in is, is really, really great with this property. Like, I, I would want to live here. Anyone would want to live here. It's super attractive. You know, what we love the most about our, you know, obviously we, we buy into communities that are growing in both appreciation and rental growth. You know, this thing is just going to grow and grow and grow in rental demand. There's people, more and more people move to this, um, this area of Palm Coast. You know, you can see that this looks like a single family home that somebody would pay a top dollar for just from, you know, the little, the little nuance. 
ounces of yeah. the red countertop and the stainless steel appliances. You, you wouldn't think there. it's a rental, like you would think somebody right. else's house. Right, and, then, and you know, this is something where if a, you know, this is a, a situation where it'd be really easy for an investor to exit. Say if they want to liquidate the asset in two or three years, this is a, something that's in high demand for single family homes in Florida. Yeah, another thing I noticed with all your properties is you've got a pantry. Absolutely. Yeah, I like that. I'm yeah. Cool. Just a small little touch. Absolutely. So this is like the master suite of the home. So we've got the big bedroom, and then inside here we have the double six uh, bathroom with the stand up shower. Uh, separate area for the toilet and then a walk-in closet uh, for the two people in the master bedroom. So we've got bedroom number two just right in here. Now in here you have hookups for a washer and dryer machine. Now again, it's not common in Florida to provide a washer and dryer machine for your tenants. Especially with a single family home, you know, a lot of these folks are probably moving from an, another single family home. They're gonna have these things. Yeah. And not wanna go on. But it's nice to have the hookups, Absolutely. right? So Absolutely. they can still bring them in. Absolutely. So come through here. We've got the second full bathroom in here. This one's got a soaker tub, the other bathroom had a stand up shower. Uh, lots of storage space in these bathrooms, the little closets and cupboard space. Um, and then we've got bedroom number three and four here. Absolutely. Yeah, but, uh, one of the things I you know kind of notice is you see the 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 fire the fire alarms in every, every room. The, yeah. The, we have the safety throughout the whole house. It's not really common in a lot of the older builds here in Florida. Maybe you'll have it in the hallway. Yeah. Not in every single home. And that's every the new code room. to have in every Absolutely, and have it in every room. Absolutely. So right in here we have uh, indoor access to the two car garage, and we've got the furnace. Right here, beach back, and a water tank right over here. Absolutely. Super easy to maintain these things. You've got plenty of space for two vehicles, maybe a riding lawnmower, uh, or all you know, all the toys for the, the lawn, all, all right here. Yeah, automatic ration opener. Absolutely. Standard in all the properties. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're definitely going to bring in you know the, the technology where it needs to be. If it's the smoke detectors or if it's you know the the uh, garage door opener, trying to you know provide some technology in today's world. Okay, here's the walkout to the backyard. And a uh, huge yard back here. Is this common with your single family homes or all your homes to have a big? Absolutely, you know, we want people to have some space, you know, feel really homey, like they are they can do, they have some space to play with the kids or you know, if an investor wanted to come and build a pool out here, they totally can. If they wanted to extend this patio and make a, you know, have a nice lanai, they have that opportunity with the size of the lot. So yeah. So four bedrooms inside, two full bathrooms. So right. this would be a family that would typically be renting this home out? Yeah, we're, we're getting a lot of families in here. And the best part is, you know, people end up staying quite a while. We're at about 3.35 years on average that a tenant will stay. So, you know, they get their kids into the school systems and, you know, we, we tend to keep the same tenants over and over again, which is great for investors. You know, if we're worried about returns and the bottom dollar, not having to, you know, re-rent a property and have you know, have to come in and flip it, you know, flip it again and make it rent ready. Um, saves a ton of money and a ton of time. Yeah, so working class families. Absolutely, yeah. Two incomes typically. Typically, yeah, with something like this, we're gonna get definitely to, you know, uh, if they, they might be working on some of the hospitals here, you know, there's multiple hospitals here. They just opened up a new Advent Health. Um, so we got we get a lot of different, uh, if it's first responders or nurses, we get a lot of different, uh, you know, types of professions in this area. Yes, yeah, a strong tenant profile. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna run through the numbers on this specific property. So this is four bedrooms, two bathrooms, 1,600 square feet, not counting the garage, right? Correct, all right. Uh, Heated and cooled uh, square footage, 1,600. Okay, and uh, purchase price is 344,900 US dollars. Um, it's completed fully, warranties in place, down payment on this one's 40%. So cash all in, closing costs, down payment, everything is $155,000 US at a 6.5% interest rate. Uh, the income on this property is gonna be 2,045 bucks a month. Vacancy losses, 81 bucks. That's just accounting for tenant turnovers and that type of stuff. Right. Right. Running right. the numbers conservatively. Operating income, 1,963. Uh, we're looking at property taxes at 431 a month. Insurance, 79 bucks. I can't believe it's that low. And um, this close to the ocean, insane. Yeah, that is crazy. 
uh, average year one property tax discount, 182 bucks. So for the first year, that comes off the 431 property taxes. So that's nice savings right there. Maintenance, 39 bucks. That's just factoring a little maintenance cost over time. Right. And uh, operating expenses, all in, 367. For a net operating income of 1596, minus your mortgage of 1308, you're looking at a cash flow of 288 bucks. Absolutely, absolutely. And these, I mean, these really rent themselves. You know, just like in, in Canada, we are in a, a housing crisis, so people need home places to live, and you all can be, you can help. You know, with you can help with that by you know these types of investments. Yeah, yes. I mean, it's a great property, so yeah, great location, tons of everything you need here from shopping, hospitals, beach, some you know some recreational stuff around here as well. Uh, I love this market. Um, so uh, it's honestly an area that's really been kind of undervalued, and now we're seeing so many people move here. Yeah, and again, this one's elevated up off the ground as well, right? With extra dirt that you guys bring in. Oh, absolutely. You know, again, we're gonna we're gonna stress we're gonna stress the same thing. How can we negate as much maintenance as possible? Building it higher. You know, using quality materials, uh, the granite countertops, the LVP, all of these things uh, to create very nice for you. And, and sorry, what's the material on the side of the house? So we use hardy board on the siding. Okay, absolutely. And then up front of it, up front is just going to be just the you know the, the finishing siding. Okay, what's hardy board? Hardy board is it, it's a dense concrete material. Okay, right. So ton, it's very, tons of layers, um, and that's going to go on top of all of your you know your insulation, your fire deterrents. Um, it's another barrier after you know the bridges. Is that a commonly used material? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Awesome.